My name's Jamie Bartley from United Capital and this is our hemp research project in Leicestershire. So we're here on our site in Leicestershire. Um, it's licensed by the Home Office under the licensing regime for industrial hemp cultivation in the UK. We've got 240 acres growing this year, which is a million square metres and around 233,648,000 plants. So I come from a construction and waste management background. Um, I really started looking at hemp around its phytoremedial properties and its ability to bioabsorb heavy metals from contaminated ground. And then once I started focusing on the plant and really started looking at its amazing environmental impact it can have on through cultivating on a large scale, how many different carbon negative products or heavy carbon use industries it can actually be a benefit to and replace the alternatives. Um, that was really, really focused my mindset and, and that, hence why I'm here I am now. Loft insulation is, is our key focus. Um, again, we're looking to derive polylactic acid, PLA, which is from the starch in the shiv. So again, deriving that, we can use that as binders for materials, both for biocomposites, so again, we're looking at construction materials, and for plastics with regards to biodegradable plastic materials. They're our main focuses, plus seed oil as well. But I think really the, the focus is for larger carbon usage industrial sectors such as construction and, and, and plastic certainly. I mean petrochemical plastics 1.8 million tonnes manufactured in the UK in the last 12 months. We need a lot of hemp to start making a decent dent on an alternative option for them. So the next 12 months are going to be quite in, intense for us. We're going to have the construction of our primary, primary decortication facility, primary processing, also our manufacturing facility that is taking the fibres and putting them into an insulation product. Equally, there's going to be various different extraction requirements with regards to the starch and the PLA that will be taken from the shiv as well. The industrial hemp sector requires investment. We need infrastructure in the UK to enable it. So we're looking at putting a primary processing facility in, but for, the, for this industry to scale and the green industrial rev revolution to really push forwards, we need to have multiple processing facilities set around the country that can service that, that agricultural community around it, enabling them to draw the maximum value, decrease carbon miles travelled for any of the raw materials and the output materials as well. We're looking at really setting up a sustainable model where we're going to have a, car a carbon negative renewable energy sourced facility that's taking already renewable energy but actually then producing carbon negative products from the hemp as well. The main key benefits of this plant, it can bioabsorb 25 times the amount of CO2 that a forest would. So therefore, in this 120 day growth cycle, the same size forest would take 25 years to bioabsorb the CO2 that this, this hemp crop will. So that's in a massive uh, carbon sequential benefit. Um, equally, because of its uh, sustainability, it actually breaks up compacted soil, so it will increase the follow-on crop yield when used in a crop rotation. That's got a big benefit to providing food on our shores for our people and for our population. We know that this, the soil has got a decline in population and potential and lifespan left. So by cultivation of, of hemp in a crop rotation, it fixes nitrogen, it will leave more nitrogen in the soil than it will take away if the leaves are left in the field to rot and to rot. So there's so much benefits again there to the, the added productivity from other agricultural crops. We wouldn't want everyone growing just hemp. There's, that, that would be negative too, but it needs to be used in a sustainable manner in crop rotations. There's a lot of data worldwide on the usage of hemp. Hemp's grown in most other countries more prevalent than it is here in the UK. Um, there's a lack in actual factually correct data that's been put together for UK cultivations. There's some good data come out of Canada, there's some good data in, in Europe and in China, but nothing specific to our soil conditions, our pHs, and our longitude and latitude, and therefore the weather conditions. So well, this year we've really focused on gaining that data. We've got five different cultivars here in the ground at eight different densities in total. And we're doing lots of research around how that impacts on the yield for the fibre and, and for the shiv and also the starch content, the lignin content, all the variable constituents that we're looking to use in end products. Specifically with the research that we're undertaking, and working with Cranfield Soil Science Department, they're world leaders in soil science, and that's really looking at the agro benefit with regards to the, the increased crop yields and breaking up compacted soils and, and the nutrient uptake and, and input into the soils. Um, with Liverpool John Moore, we're focusing on a carbon negative modular housing um, system that will be 100% hemp derived. 
that's structurally hemp, hemp derived materials and biocomposites and then hemp derived insulation materials but also that would be used potentially with the phytoremedial properties where we'll clean up contaminated land and then lock up those contaminated contaminants in carbon negative houses that will then be built on the, on the site of uh, previous contamination. Um, and then we're also looking at these insulation materials with Salford University and a lot of detail with regards to various different models for biocomposites and natural insulation materials. Really we're trying to enable the UK agricultural sector to develop the UK hemp industry and also to, to give credible data because there's such a lack of credible, factually correct data to, to cultivation of hemp in the, here, here in the UK. So we're, we're putting together a hemp exchange programme, so that's really going to be working with the UK agricultural sector. Anyone who's interested in using hemp as a, in a crop rotation or cultivating on a large scale, we're looking to assist them to give them the data help them make the right decisions around their end uses and, and therefore get the maximum commercial return from the crop, which will promote more and more cultivation on a large scale. And the more we can cultivate on a large scale, the, more, the better impact it'll have on the environment. I think the fact, if you look back through history, it's been around for thousands and thousands of years. I mean, whether it's been, cannabis has been used for medicines, it's been used for ropes and sails, a legal requirement in King Henry VIII to grow hemp if you had up to 10 acres of land or more. So I think the fact that it's been so prevalent throughout history shows that actually the last 100 years are probably just a blip in the bigger scale of things and we're coming back round to the proper utilisation of this, this wonderful crop. The normalisation of the word is needed because there is still so much perception. People are more acceptable to the terminology hemp rather than rather than cannabis but equally cannabis steverell is industrial hemp so i think once people's perception to the word in relaxes slightly then they'll be more open to to looking at how it could benefit their specific situation their specific environment or industry unite's goal is to really enable the scaling of the agricultural sector um, we need to have the processing facilities that can then allow for large volumes of this material to, for the value layers to be taken out. Um, equally, we're looking at getting multiple locations set up around the UK. We've got two licensed sites, one here in Leicestershire, one down in Oxfordshire. Um, again, developing for further sites throughout the UK and providing those, those alternatives to the industrial sectors that need them. Petrochemical plastic alternatives, carbon negative construction alternatives. And we're looking at developing a lot of research for various universities, Cranfield, to Liverpool John Moore and also Salford Universities. Anyone that's interested in getting involved, contact us through the website which is www.unite, which is unyte.co.uk. Um, again, I mean, we're looking for partners in this. We've got, we're very much at the beginning of our journey, but equally we're very determined on where we want to go and we, we know that this needs to be done on a large scale to have any sort of environmental impact that we know it can have. So therefore, anyone else with the same vision, please do get in contact and come and join us on this journey.